An economy that's based on promoting clean energy is the most sustainable economy in the long term because you're not only providing new jobs and opportunities in that economy, you're avoiding pollution and other concerns that are damaging to the economy. The Pecan Street Project has the very modest goals of reinventing the energy system for the United States. The challenges are integrated, the solutions have to be integrated too. That's what we're doing at the Pecan Street Project. I think we all understand a need to conserve energy, that the old way of having large industrial plants that are polluting our air isn't going to work long term, and that we have a lot of other sources of energy that we can use. I don't think we're really talking anymore about the utility of the future. We're talking about energy systems of the future. Thinking of the consumer as a partner, thinking of the consumer as a point of generation, thinking that the consumer and the utility ought to enter into ways to reduce cost for both. There are going to be opportunities in an innovative community that's not afraid to take some risks, that's not afraid to change. I think what is most unique about Austin is the breadth and scope of the different components of the sustainability movement that are embodied in the various companies that are located here in Austin. We think this is a chance to test these concepts that range from a new business model to great technologies to integration of technologies. We're a community that deep in our souls is committed to environmental progress and to doing something positive for the planet. You don't often find the environmental community working with the business community and the University of Texas in such a focused way. When you put it all together with our publicly owned utility that has also been a great leader in this field, it was kind of almost like magic. By formalizing it and creating something that we've given a name to, the Pecan Street Project, we can take it from idea to implementation. We're not just talking about those now. We have $10.4 million to be able to take some of the hypotheses that we've generated around those technologies and put them into practice in a demonstration environment. We're very fortunate in the city of Austin to have a new neighborhood that is filled with residents who are early adopters. These residents are going to be trying the new technologies and working with our water and electric utility to be able to see can they in fact control their own destiny with respect to the energy and water that they use. And the information that we receive out of this demonstration project is going to be very important in helping the entrepreneurs design the next generation of technologies. These types of technologies, similar to an iPhone or similar to internet technologies we see today, will essentially give us more control over our energy environment. We're working to create a roadmap that everyone around the country can use. This is a lot more than a one-off local project. We think this is a chance to create a model really for the country, maybe for the world. The citizens in this town want to see it happen. We have the infrastructure. We're ready to roll. This is a very entrepreneurial place. You tie all that together, man, we're going to knock it out of the park.